Now, the first trickle of vaccines administered in the US this week are reaching just a fraction of the country's population. Widespread immunization, as you heard us talk about earlier, is not expected for months. The mayor of New York says the city's hospital rate is more than five and a half percent and warns tighter restrictions may be unavoidable. We are just on the verge of a huge breakthrough with the vaccine, but we're also dealing with a second wave. We've got to beat it back. We've got to protect lives. We've got to protect our hospitals. So I think, unfortunately, I don't say it with anything but sorrow, but I do think it's needed. We're going to need to do uh, some kind of shutdown in the weeks ahead. Some kind of shutdown in the weeks ahead. New Jersey's governor is also saying his state is considering another shutdown. Jim Allen is chairman of Hard Rock International, joins me from Atlantic City in New Jersey. I know you don't want to hear this. You don't want to hear it, shutdowns and the like. Um, but wherever you look in your empire, governments and local authorities are introducing greater restrictions. Um, how difficult is it going to be for you? First of all, Richard, thanks for having me. You know, it's challenging. We were already seeing this in Europe. We had reopened, you know, 25, 30 cafes in gateway cities throughout Europe. And unfortunately, now they're virtually all closed again. So it's never good news, but we certainly anticipate it could happen, obviously, as we see a spike in COVID now hitting here in the Northeast. So what are you going to do? I mean, for those Obviously, if you can't open, you can't open. And when you can open, it's outdoor dining or it's outdoor this or it's some, some variant thereof. Are you funded and liquid that you can last through until herd immunity middle or to late next year? Yeah, actually, overall, we, we are in good shape. But overall is defined as all of our businesses, which is not just Hard Rock Cafe. It's the seminal gaming business. It's the regional casinos. It's our online sports betting, our online retail, um, and obviously our online gaming businesses. When we look at all of them, we'll be fine. Uh, we will make it through 20 and 21. And candidly, we, we look for some real upside in 2022, and more specifically, 2023 in the restaurant business. So, yes, we will make it, but it certainly has been a very intriguing year. This is why, I mean, things like Hard Rock Digital, which you've announced, basically a gaming venture, an online betting an, uh, a venture. It's why these new ventures are crucial, in a sense, as revenue raisers in the meantime. Yeah, you know, frankly, we started, you know, Hard Rock Interactive, you know, three and a half, four years ago. We've had some great success, you know, with a little bit of humor, because there are certainly are different business models. But we actually make money in this space today, frankly, some double digit EBITDA. Um, many of these companies are losing hundreds and hundreds of millions of dollars. We took a little different approach. As we've now launched Hard Rock Digital with our new partners, we really see that as the next step at maximizing our revenue, our EBITDA projections over the next three to five years, which we believe, I think many of the analysts would concur, that we're gonna see a 30, 35% of total gross gaming revenue in the United States come from the digital aspect of online gaming and sports betting. So it is the way of the future, and we're real excited about the Hard Rock Digital release. How do you keep excited by restaurants, cafes and hotels and all the other things, which is old school and really never gets the same sort of potential revenue slash EBITDA that you ever get with gaming because the costs are so much greater of building bricks and mortar? You know, one of the great things about the Hard Rock brand, you know, literally, you know, two billion plus media impressions last year. So we know the brand is relevant. And, you know, the cafes coming up on their 50 year anniversary next June still are part of that. So we know it's very important to keep that original foundation block in place. We're certainly not in an expansion mode with the cafes even prior to COVID um, here domestically in the United States. But on a global basis, frankly, we were doing between 15 and 25 cafes a year through our licensing and franchise divisions. And, you know, they really were doing well prior to COVID. So the future is clearly, you know, big box integrated re um, online destination resorts. Uh, but certainly the cafes, you know, still do pretty amazingly well um, when, we, when we look at Please. its 50 year history. Do you collect all the hard rock mugs? I mean, if one more person I, I come across who actually collects all... So I figured that the chair must collect them all. 
No, but actually, Richard, I do not. Um, but what's amazing with Hard Rock is I always joke, you know, try to go to an airport and not see someone in a Hard Rock shirt or hat, whatever it may be. But the reality is that our real collectors are the pin collectors. And, and there is so many amazing variations, literally thousand variations of Hard Rock pins on a global basis. And about two weeks ago was my 20th year with Hard Rock, and they actually created a pin for me. So that's about the only one I have in the collecting uh, category. But but certainly, you know, our Hard Rock pin collectors and our merchandise and obviously the world's largest collection of music memorabilia is still alive and doing very well and that's the I've one been... thing covid cannot affect and i i, I the, 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 the hotel where i was always staying in davos and then became a hard rock and a hard rock uh, it, it, up the mountain slopes good to see you jim thank you for taking time today busy days and we appreciate your time thank you sir always a pleasure richard thank you for having us